It's so wonderful. My producer asked me before I start talking if I'm ready. Well, I'm never really ready because all I do is talk, and that's what I do. I have David with me, and uh, David has a fabulous story for us because, as you know, I don't pre-interview. And uh, we're down here at the pepper mill. And you look very relaxed and very happy. And, <laughs> and this is why I'm with you. I have no choice but to be relaxed. <laughs> I don't know about that. But anyway, I hope I make you relaxed. And of course, we're on the red sofa at the pepper mill. And um, you are actually in the music business, but not uh, you don't play and you don't sing. Or maybe you do. I don't know. I, I sing in the shower, but that's my only claim to fame. Yeah, me know. too. Yeah. <laughs> Even I'm that's not, not very good. Very good <laughs> but you're actually, you live outside of Vegas. You don't I, live I, in Vegas. I don't live in Vegas. I live in a town two hours north of here, a little town called Beatty, and I live even north of that. Beatty? Beatty. B E A T T Y. B -A -T -T -Y. Oh, Beatty. It's a gateway to Death Valley out there. Oh, I know where you are. I live in Oasis Valley, uh, one of the ranches up to the north of the town up there. And it's, it's not very big, obviously. It's a small. Beatty's got 850 people in it. Oh, can you imagine town. me living in the town? 850 people? Oh, that'd when be a disaster. I was, <laughs> when I was a kid, there were 350 people in town. So you've always lived there? I've been there my whole life. Raised my children there and been there with my grandmother, and grandfather, and mother and father. Do your children still live there? They live here in Vegas right oh, now. They live, so not too far away? They're not too far away. Now, Death Valley is fabulous. Death Valley. So north, yes. south of Death Valley? We're, we're to the north of Death Valley is where we are. To the north it's, of Death Valley. In fact, it was, it's 13 miles from the border of Death Valley, which is next to Death and it's 13 miles to the bottom. There's all these all numbers these that fit right along with Death Valley. It's a okay. wonderful place. Now, the reason I'm asking him all these questions is because he's going to start putting on music concerts, which we, means you have the acreage to do we that. We do. We have, we have a very large ranch north of Beatty and 320 acres on the base ranch. We own other properties in the valley there. Okay. We are at the present time doing many other things at the ranch right there. We've had the Tough Mudder there. We do the Boy Scouts of America, Mount Mount Rendezvous. Oh, I've got Nike Racing. I have 2,200 Boy Scouts in my place every February, helping youth kids out oh, and whatnot. Oh, let's see. You never know who's going to come on the show you never and know. what we learn. And I'm, what, you know, lots I to learn about what we're doing. And we yes. will be, at the present time, we have coming up Beatty Days Festival, which is the 25th, 26th, 27th of this month. Okay. We are going to have we have a bike, music festival. A music festival and bike festival. It's Beatty Days Festival in the town. They have okay. cheer cook-offs and a big parade. We always win first place in the parade, you know. We have all the bike riders come up from Las Vegas. Come on, Vegas Brad, keep going. You gotta let people oh, no, know. We let got people know what you do. Let's talk about that. Yes. So we do that and we are we are we are getting uh, more and more interest coming into what we're doing at the ranch out there. We have a big conservation movement going on in our valley, where there's quite a history behind that. We can talk about that a bit. But the, the reason today we're here is because of the music festival uh, people that I've met through some yeah. interesting circumstances. Brian Scott with Mercury Records is is here, you know, promoting it with you, promoting it with me, and we are trying to get our voice about out about conservation and recreation. And what does that group, mean? Conservation, conservation and recreation. recreation. We have what a big conservation movement okay. our, in our valley. Oasis Valley is is a place that. That, that there was an attempt back from far back as 1993 to put things, animals, endemic species on the endangered species list. Okay, yes. We have headed up and started a nonprofit to be able to take in grants and donors to help us out with the conservation movement to prevent the endangerment of species there in our valley and educate people. Do you ever people. have any chimps there or anything? Any what? Chimps. Chimps? Chimps. Monkeys, chimps, no, apes. No, none of those. We have, oh, we we have bobcats and, bob and, bob all that and coyotes okay. and things like that. Okay. You know? Coyotes? Yeah. So we're, we're, <laughs> we're doing that. And in, in our part of our education to get conservation going in our valley, mm -hmm. we, have, we have received congressional awards, service citizen awards by efforts we've done there in the valley with our 501c3. That's trails. OV, it's, it's trails dash. So okay. people can actually go to her they and they can go on wonderful there, trails. Walk on our trails. They What's come in, the weather like? The weather is 10 degrees cooler any given day than it is right here in Las Vegas. Well, that's good because if it is 100 here, it's mm -hmm. 90 there. So that's it's not right. too bad. Here so, is 90 there. so the summer's not too you bad. Bet. And part of our part of our problem has always been in conservation. You know, I live in a valley. I've watched all of our small towns in the state are falling yeah. apart. We're, yes, we're they are. little by little we're losing with plywood on the windows, outnumbering the residents that live in the communities. And, and then they're thinking of moving out as Everybody's well. Everybody's moving out of the small towns. We're losing. And our then it culture. becomes a ghost town. That's a history of Nevada, and I want to prevent yeah. that from happening. I've, I've, I've decided that what we're going to do is, is, is come up with a model of, of conservation, a model of, of culture, and preserve our way of life out there, and let that be a speak piece for what we should be doing in small towns elsewhere in the state of Nevada. 
Maybe, maybe start a foundation. Maybe start. Uh, well, let the me ask you a question. You there. said you've only got eight hundred and fifty people there. Mm -hmm. So you have people there that run the village. So you've got money going from here to there, from there to there. So the town rather keeps itself going. That's right. So you get a job at the gas station, and then the gas station people help somebody else, and, and this is how it's, it's sort of. It's a small. Because only 850 people. That's right. So that's so you've when got I a was own community. A, a child growing up, we had 350 people, and we used to go downtown at my ranch. We grew up with music. My mother played the piano. My aunt was a, a honky tonk pianist. My father played the harmonica. And we had all the miners and other ranchers they came had in with quite quite that band. Band. Yeah, banjos and had... mandolins came down. We would get a wild. My grandfather brewed beer. I grew up. My grandfather was a brewmaster back from Germany, and so we had homebrew on the ranch all the time. Everybody would get a few bottles of homebrew, and we'd load the piano up in the back of the four-wheel drive, go downtown, and stop under the one stoplight we had in Beatty, and have well, an impromptu dance. I'm surprised you even had one stoplight. We did, we did, yeah. <laughs> now, so um, this music festival that's coming into town, which you said is coming in the end of February, it's I, no, I mean, end this of month, uh, this month with October. others planned for next year. And you're planning others mm -hmm. for next year. That's right. So how many people you are expecting and how many bands have you got coming in? We have four bands coming to this one. So far? So far. We have Can more come in if they want to? Uh, at the moment we're we're, we're keeping it just to four. Just to four just right to now. Because it's the first time we're doing it. It's an exercise making sure we get everything right and that we don't have any glitches or things we know. So it's, you it's, built a great big stage? We have. We we have we have we haven't built one. We actually have one coming in. We've, we've coming we in. have one coming in, yes. And who's supplying that? Because obviously everybody's helping with this. My my nonprofit is providing that. Because okay. with, with this with the music we're gonna get our story about about our small towns, the salvation of a culture, the salvation of species, conservation, bringing youth groups in, you know, getting people off the couches and out on the bicycles, on the great trail system we have, and let music begin to be the voice of So that's going to be the voice of the town. It's gonna be the voice of our town and it's <laughs> also a place where we can develop new artists by having a ranch like we have. We recognize that the places like this are needed, yes. you know, where you can have, it's a two hour drive, you can, we might be making foundations for new artists to get notified, well, that's out, the, noticed that's out there. that's the idea of our program. That's exactly we get a lot of new artists on our program mm -hmm. to give them the exposure so people can you see bet. who they are and what they and are. And we want to try, to try to place that they can actually play and be seen with the videographers we've got coming in. Is there a charge in. to come to this? Is there a fee to watch it? No, or? it's completely oh, free. It's free. Is all uh -huh. I ask. We have a non-profit, people make a donation in the bucket on the way out the door. Yeah, if they uh, want to make to a donation, they can. Um, they don't have to. But so everything's free, which is amazing. Hey, out there, it's all free. <laughs> <laughs> let them know as and well. They can, they can go to our website and look and at the And check out, what's your website? It's trails dash ov dot org is our okay that should be easy the, the whole schedule ov dot org that's right and you can see the whole schedule of what we're doing for the baby days festival too as well as our, our music festival we are really going to try to wrap how things many up. people are you expecting because i happen to know that a lot of the yet generation out there love to go to these different places you to a festival it to seems to be like an in thing there was just one just recently that was for the I don't know for some hokey, I don't know what it was for ghosts or something out of way. space. Yeah, out of space. It was for something. Yeah. And you didn't remember that there was something they watched to see. That something. was the Area 51 storm. 51 program. Something I don't know. Well, I, that's I know actually that. how interesting. That's actually how I met the music festival promoter Brian Scott was through that. Wow. And that's wow. when he came into my yard and we had we had him and a lot of other people out there that were trying to put a music festival on it. What's we've always realized that our get our, our word out of what we're doing at, at Spicer Ranch is to try to get the word out there. So they came into my house my ranch and looked at us and said, my God, we can put a band here and a band there and a band over here and a band over here. They were excited about that. But so let's all play at different times. Imagine if they all played together. <laughs> that's right. So we did. We definitely got, uh, that's where the introduction came from. Uh, you know, interesting arrangement. Neither one of us knew about each other before. We're both looking for See, that's how things music. work. And then if you can help each other, that's, right. that's what you, you need to help. We have been seeking. Our little town needs a voice, and our little our movement needs a voice. We've been seeking the legitimate, solid partners that well, have integrity I hope and passion. I'm not going to eat those words because you might have all of a sudden. Then I'll ask you a question. How much would it cost to buy a house out there? Say a three bedroom for a family house. So say three bedroom family house. What would that? What is your roughly price out there? Two hundred, three hundred, a hundred? No, no. They're going to be. They're going to be in. 
fifty to a hundred thousand dollar ranch. We don't have a lot of those out there though. Our town is more of a trailer park than it is, and we've got a few houses out there, and we've got a few people interested. So now this is a to build great some. opportunity for the younger generation. Well, it is. If we can, if we make this work out, it's going to create jobs, opportunity, okay. bring taxable revenue, and it's going to give a place for artists Wait to get expressed. Are you the mayor? We don't have a mayor. Well, you are now. <laughs> <laughs> I swear you in as the mayor of your... We have a wonderful town board and dedicated people that volunteer their time. They're advisory committed to the county commissioners. We have a great relationship with our town. So you might have to start building this all up, which means you're going to have problems because this one's not going to agree with this one. So you know, <laughs> we have, actually, we've had fully with our... With our Recreation Trails program. A lot of we have a lot of BLM land in the state of Nevada. A lot of okay. public land. Okay? Public land, yes. We're, we are an island, a large ranch surrounded by public land around us. Which means us. you can put a little hut on there, leave it there enough years, and you own that piece. No, no, you can't. They used to be no. able to do that on the Homestead Act. You yeah. can't do that anymore. You can't do that no, no Homestead anymore. anymore. Oh. Mm -hmm. That was blocked at the end of the 1970s when that Homestead oh, Act was pulled out. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. You're yeah, right. it, all, yeah. it all quit I at that time. I didn't know it went everywhere, but it did. But definitely went. Well, How no. many people are you expecting um, for this festival? You know, we we are expecting for the Beatty Days Festival yes. between three and five thousand people coming to, to the Beatty Days Festival. It's also include coming to our place. Also, all of our bike riders come. I got five bicycle shops coming to my place from here in Las Vegas. Oh, how They're going to be out there with all their riders because they want to get in a parade too and ride their of trails course, and talk about conservation and enjoy the music. I mean, we're starting now, something that's you know, got some longevity. I, I, have, I have to admire about David. He's got a town, a small town, 850 people. And he's putting a festival on and he's even going to have a parade. And then you've got people coming in from Las Vegas because they want to be mm -hmm. in the parade. We do. We have people. So for the, would you have a car person come in? You mean the old cars, how they paint them up? We have, yes, we have the, 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 uh, um, uh, I'm trying to think of the name of the guys. They, the guys who wear the funny hats. They Asking do. me. Yeah, we all wear those. <laughs> They we come out. Funny we have all kinds we of funny cars getting a parade. We've got we've got classic car guys coming set up in the parking bay. Great, great. They come up there and open their hoods, and everybody gets to see those people. We have bed races. We've got a chili cook-off going on. Chili cook-off. Oh, great. there's oh yeah yeah. It's actually a you know a big event out there. But there's uh, a little train deal. There's lots of stuff going in a little small town, and I'm out on the Spicer Ranch north of that. We're combining David our efforts together to make it happen. David is the one behind this whole thing. He is putting this together. He's organizing. But also he has his team, and I would like to reach out and say thank you to that team that is helping David because those people very rarely get a thank you. You know, there are some wonderful people <laughs> so, that have gotten behind our movement to try to bring goodness and health and well-being to our small community and out that's there. that's what we need. And be a model, unify ourselves and all the land user groups together in a combined effort and do it all around oh. a band. Yeah. yeah. On a large stage and do some dancing along into the night. That's We've exactly what we're going for. dancing going on and music going on. What more could you wish for? Okay, alcohol. <laughs> Couple of drinks and away you go. David, you've been amazing. Um, again, give me the dates and where it's going to be. It's going to be... This this month, the 25th, 26th, and 27th 25th, in Beatty, Nevada, at Spicer Ranch. Okay, Spicer Ranch. You can go to Ranch. our website at trails-ov.org to see what we're doing at the ranch and to BeattyNV.com to see the res to what Beatty's actually doing in the community for its festival there also. It's a combined effort between all of us. It's amazing. Well, we've uh, hopefully helped a little bit out there. We can get this out there. Um, I know that my producer, um, Stephen, he will be putting it out there as soon as he can because he knows you need it out there. And um, thank you so much, David, for coming well, you, on my show. Amazing guy. Um, he's out there helping his town. We'll be right back with our next guest. <laughs>